So recently I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what anime I wanted to talk about. I love anime, so I wanted to make a video about an anime that really touched me and, you know, it made me think. So I have decided to talk about Yuri on Ice. Hey, 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 settle down, calm down. I want to talk about Gurren Lagann too, but you know what? I'm going to talk about Yuri on Ice and I'm going to talk about why I think it's a very special anime and the reason might surprise you. Now, let me bring you up to speed. Yuri on Ice premiered October 2016 and completely took the anime world by storm. According to Anime News Network, Yuri on Ice was the most talked about anime on Twitter in the fall of 2016, drawing in mentions of over 1 million. It wasn't only mentioned on Twitter, but it was also popularized in the mainstream sports world. It became so popular that it even captured the heart of real world figure skating Grand Prix champion Evgenia Medvedya. From Russia. So, what makes Yuri on Ice so special? It's obvious that people like it, but why should you care? What's the big deal? And the reason is, I think it has some of the best writing I've ever seen in anime. Yuri on Ice is special because it constantly subverts your expectations. So many scenes are written with such nuance and depth and it makes you begin to expect the unexpected. For example, in the first episode, there are two really key moments that show you how great this show is at subverting your expectations. In one of the introductory scenes, Yuri is talking on the phone with his mom and starts crying. Let's pause for a second. So in my experience with sports, I immediately thought that Yuri's parents were berating him. We all know that feeling, going to a sporting event and seeing a parent or a coach that is just a little bit too intense. Anyway, this leads him to cry, thus creating sympathy for Yuri as a character. But later in the episode, we see that his family is completely supportive no matter what, even if he wins or loses. In fact, they're just happy to see him when he comes home from Detroit. So then, what does that teach us as a viewer? It teaches us that the person putting pressure on Yuri wasn't his parents, but it was himself. He was disappointed and couldn't bring himself to face his parents after facing defeat and embarrassment. And this theme of pressure put on oneself and expectations become a major theme throughout the show and really tells us a lot about the character. And these scenes are not few and far between. These nuanced scenes happen multiple times per episode. Another scene in the same episode has Yuri meeting up with his childhood friend and training partner, Yuko Nishigori. During an internal monologue, he mentions that he idolized her growing up and that now she is as pretty as ever. But wait, you must be thinking to yourself, Ian, I thought Yuri on Ice was about male figure skaters falling in love. Is this going to be a thing where he just falls in love with his childhood friend like every other anime I watch? Uh, no. Yuri mentions this affection for his childhood friend and at the end of the scene, she is enamored with how amazing he skates, building this friendship up through a flashback as a potential love interest until the turn. You find out that she is married and has kids with Yuri's former bully. And. That former bully has changed into a sweet, caring father who admires Yuri and just wants to support him in any way he can. Once again, showing you what you expect from an anime and then giving you something completely different. And this sort of thing is what makes Yuri on Ice special. It builds these scenes based on stereotypes of what the viewer expects and then you just take a hard right turn into something you don't. This style of writing makes you feel like you should constantly be looking out for small details that will tell you more about the characters or the situations they inhabit. And it makes rewatching episodes with more context even more enjoyable. To quote the actual show, in episode two, Victor says, you should always do the exact opposite of what people expect of you. How else will you surprise them? And this show does exactly that. It does the opposite and always leaves you surprised. If it wasn't clear before, I love anime. But anime, like all other media, is built on tropes. Nothing is original. Every season we see another sports anime, or another slice of life anime, or another battle anime, or another harem anime. Popular things create themes and motifs. And then new media takes that and then builds off of them. But Yuri on Ice, it does something different. Not only is it animated beautifully, masterfully written, and is chock full of characters with great design, but it also realizes and acknowledges that these tropes and expectations exist and makes it its job to show you something different. 
In Yuri on Ice's opening song, the lyrics say, We were born to make history. And I think that the show made history for me with its great writing that always surprises. Honestly, I made a mistake not watching it earlier, and I hope that you won't make the same mistake. For more talks about anime, you should check out A Plus Anime on podcast services everywhere. And don't forget to watch OK Beast every Friday for new video essays about all the things your nerdy heart can handle. Thanks for watching.